I'll begin with a few admissions about who I am. Yes, I was a board member of the official Remain campaign. And yes, we lost. And now the vote to leave is being explained as the revolt of the working class people, supposedly vulnerable to what the UN has called divisive, anti-emigrant, xenophobic rhetoric. Well, I grew up in a working class community just in case I haven't said that a few times, on a casual estate in Walthamstow, in case you didn't know that too. And I am the child of Ghanaian immigrants. Oh yeah, you've heard that a few times as well. And I know that since the Second World War, Britain's working class communities have done more than any other group to integrate newcomers into this country, more certainly than the more affluent sections of society. The people who make up Britain's working class are not racist. Their vote wasn't a rejection of people from other countries. It was a rejection of an unfair economic system. A system that hasn't helped those whose jobs have been taken away by technology, not foreigners. And I believe Britain's working class people, the people that I grew up amongst, know the difference. I think, it's, obviously, it's very complex, the reasons why people voted to remain or, mm. or to leave. It's very personal to people. Mm. But the perception that I had, and, and that might be partly because of the way the Leave campaign set themselves up, mm. um, was about immigration. Mm. It was about immigration, it was about restoring £350 million to the NHS every week. Um, and, and some of the posters that we know very well about, um, some of the attitudes, a lot of the vox pops about people afterwards that, that were speaking about why they chose to leave, did revolve around the subject of immigration and having people in their neighbourhoods that they felt that if they weren't there, they would have a better life, they'd have more opportunity. So I think whether it's factually correct, the perception mm. that, that um, people that voted to leave did have some issues about race and immigration, I think are, are, are absolutely uh, correct and, and, to, and there's a lot of evidence that will support that. I think we kind of almost need to put Brexit to one side. What I'm talking about is obviously since Brexit there has been the rise in reported hate crimes and, and a lot of people are forgetting. So what I suppose the point I'm trying to make is people are forgetting that actually we need to celebrate the working classes because the stuff that we are so proud of in terms of being a multicultural and, and tolerant country and probably one of the best examples of multiculturalism in the world it's those people who've lived it. So the politicians may have been the architects of this, but it was the real working class people that were the builders. And all of a sudden, we are forgetting that without them, we would not have this tolerant society that we're all so proud of. That's Forgive what I'm me. saying. Do, let me just, I, I don't know if I, I'd love to find the clip, but I swear I sat in this position and you mm -hmm. there in the run up to the referendum, mm -hmm. where you said to me, as a black woman, mm -hmm. I am very scared of Brexit. Did you or did you not say that? No, 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 that, that's not exactly what I said. Okay, but to paraphrase. What I, what I said was because of the rhetoric that the vote leave side was throwing so around. the official vote The leave. official, exactly. And what I'm talking about here is all of a sudden... But you effectively called that side racist. They were, but that's the campaign. Oh, I'm not Boris Johnson, Boris Johnson I'm, uh, That's Michael the campaign. Gove, I'm not talking racist. about real people. Well, Nigel Farage's team, I don't know. I, I don't think Nigel Farage's I'm talking racist. about real yeah, people. I'm talking use. about real people. I'm talking about working class, everyday people who are now all being tarnished and called racist By in this who? country. By the press. When you read the media, that's what you're seeing all the when time. When did you last read? I, have you read those headlines, Emma? I, I have. Seen... Well, if we look at I some haven't... of the... If, well, we can't talk about what happened a couple of days no, no. ago. June, the thing that confuses me about what you say mm. is that in the Leave campaign, the, the Leavers were asked to vote for a control of immigration mm -hmm. and more money for the NHS. At no point in my recollection was the white working class or the working classes told that if they voted for Brexit, they would get their industries back, they would get their steelworks back, they would get their coal mines back. I, all the jobs that the, white work, the working class think have been made obsolescent by, you say, technology, which is what yeah. they, why they no yeah. longer have votes and why they voted for Brexit. They don't have so, jobs, you know. so if it was technology, mm -hmm. why weren't they told if, if well, you vote for Brexit, that, you'll get... Lot. If it wasn't, people... <laughs> There Coming in and doing jobs that they could do, why then yeah. did they, yeah. what did they think they were getting? Well, I think in terms of vote leave, there was a lot that was promised that clearly is not going to happen. We know that. But what I'm trying to explain here is post-Brexit... No, they, they voted Brexit because of the economy, not because of any other issue. 
No, 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 no. What I'm saying is that they, it was made to seem as if everything was anti-immigration and that this group is, as all of a sudden, has become the racist sector of society. How can you say they're not racist? Because I grew up in No, 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 Madison, because and you I know they're not. Your entire argument is, und is, is completely undone. Let me say why. Tell me. Because you can't group people together like that. Just like we can't no, say they're racist, no, you can't say no, 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 that they're 100% no, no, no. not racist. No, no, Just no, no. like women you don't all feel the same. Emma, Emma, you're Emma, working class no, no, we don't no, need no, to be politically true. correct about no, it. No, we're, we're not being politically correct. But what I'm saying is if we are looking at immigration, and that's what we're looking at, this is the group that is most affected by immigration, and this oh. is the group who, for the past 50, 60 years, have it. welcomed and embraced it. This is, this is the group that intermarries that. more no. than any other sector of society. But, but you, yes, you can, because that's fact. You no, can't if say you, if all you look at if you look at if you look at if you look at I'm not saying every single well, I'm, not saying, saying. But, I'm not saying every single June. but I'm saying that actually if we that's look at the people who have to live it they are the group yeah, but, that live but, it But you only have to look at the rise of UKIP in the areas that they're they've been successful in to see that there is less tolerance in certain areas just like there is amongst rich people. Yeah, of, of, of immigration. And, and the Leave campaign used that absolutely... They exploited to, to, that. To their, yeah. ..to their benefit. But shame on the Remain campaign for not admitting that there was a massive problem P with the I system buy. of immigration. No buy. one owned up to the fact that yeah. more than 50% of that. people that yeah. come into this country yeah. are from non-EU countries. Yeah, I buy and that. no one was yeah. brave enough to stand yeah. up and say, do you know what, yeah. we, our policy's wrong yeah. and we need to, we need to get hold of the policy. That. If they'd done that, they might have actually swung the vote the other way. But irrespective of that, I still think... But I'm saying let's celebrate. Let's celebrate the people who have been the builders of the society that we are all so proud of. June, what interests me is... What's your answer to the fact that areas that got the most money from Europe, the most, as it were, economic know, support, yeah. Awful. voted to Out. leave? Yeah. So if you're, if you're making this sort of economic stroke technical but I, but argument, I think, it no, just doesn't... No, but I think... The, the facts I think on the that, ground don't but bear I think, it out. No, but I think, Rachel, a lot of those areas didn't even realise... But are, are, are you saying they're stupid? Hang on a minute. Are you saying state knows best? Are you saying state knows best? You know what? I've had enough of you lot this week. I've hardly spoken. I like you today. This lot, you can go home. Let me ask you a question. I think you grew up in a working-class area. Yes. I think it was Wolfram Do you think... Do you think if you were a, whatever that lovely picture of you, a 9, 10, 11 year old uh, black girl living in Walthamstow, do you think your life's easier than it was when you were there? How would a life for a 10, 11 year old girl in Walthamstow, black girl, be now as it was compared for you those years ago? I think it's probably quite similar, actually, yeah. I, but life for an 11 year old um, black girl from my mother's generation was completely different. And that's what I'm saying in one generation. Because the headline worried so me much. that the headline of your discussion was Britain isn't racist, right? That, that's. I don't think, do you think, do you think people think Britain is racist? Well, I, I think, I think I that do. actually a lot of the reporting that has happened since Brexit is, is beginning to, to tarnish and to group a certain sector of society as racist. Well, and also, so what I'm saying is that I grew up in the, this the thing society is, it's and logical, I don't think it is. It's well, logical that, that there's a con as a consequence of Brexit, there's a perception that we are racist because mm -hmm. it was all built, the Leave campaign yeah. was built on immigration. So therefore, you but become an apologist is, to people by saying, look, actually... What I'm saying, but if there is a group that has called time because they have not benefited in globalisation the, the way the rest of us have, let's not forget that the things that we celebrate in this country, it was actually them, it was they, mm. they were the ones who did the heavy lifting. That's all I'm saying.